What I like about Oz, number one is service. You know, having service in a reasonable amount of time, having parts at the ready almost all the time. You know, even if parts have to come from California, it's almost always overnighted. And that's kept me with Oz. Obviously, the value proposition of the machines is really strong. We've never had a problem with holding accuracy or tolerance. So there's really nothing to complain about. It's just a good bang for the buck. My name is Rich Hummel. The company is Woodpeckers. We're located in Strongsville, Ohio. I started the company in 1988 as an offshoot of a hobby as a woodworker. So we initially outsourced manufacturing to a small machine shop across the street. That didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked. So out of frustration, I bought a VFOE, learned how to run it. A couple years later, followed up with a mini mill and a VF4 with a Haas's pallet changer and ended up with a SL20 as well. And just piece by piece every year, we add more machinery as demand dictates. At any given time, we have about 2,400 different parts that we need to machine, and the majority of which are milled parts. And those are the parts for about 800 different SKUs. We have uh, two horizontals, two EC400s with pallet pools. Uh, those are relatively new. We got those last year, I believe. The, it gives us the ability to machine any part, you know, all six sides and a three plus two you know, type of setup. We almost always you know, get a VF3, for instance, with a Mitoco pallet changer. It's just a great marriage. We've tracked every part for every job we've ever run in 20 years. Uh, you know, the spindle utilization without a pallet changer is in the 50s or 60s, depending on cycle time and some other factors. With a pallet changer, it's almost always 50% better than that. It's, it's hard to beat. It's, it's just a great combination. We also have you know, the BBX product attached to some VF2s. That's also a great configuration for two op parts. Along with the, the UMC 1500, we bought a company whose products involve a lot of castings, and the, the 1500 was perfect you know, with like a BF2 equivalent table off to the side for either the first op or last op, and then the, the trunnion for the rest of it. It's worked out great. We buy a bunch of options, uh, always 15K, always through the spindle coolant, almost every option available, always uh, you know, part and tool probing, rotation and scaling, always the high speed machining option. I, I wouldn't order a machine without it, you know, quite honestly. Uh, like I said, just about everything that's available for it, we order. And it's worth it. I started off, the first machines were stripped bare bones, and we had to limp our way through things. So figure out pretty quick for a few bucks, it's, it's worth it to get the productivity enhancing accessories. We've started purchasing Haas cutting tools may, maybe a year ago, uh, and we're buying more and more of them. We spend about a million dollars a year on perishable tooling. Haas is getting a small piece of that at the moment, but as time goes on, that, that'll grow. Our customer are woodworking hobbyists. We, we deliberately are just focused on what the home woodworker might want or need. The, the tools can be anything. We're not married to a particular segment. If hobbyists have an interest in turning tools, we make turning tools. If they have an interest in table saw accessories, we make table saw accessories. We usually introduce a new tool about every three weeks, so we're, we're pretty busy. Our engineering department's busy, and of course, along with the production shop. We've always maintained a pretty aggressive growth posture. We have purchased property to build a significant larger facility, which we intend to populate with a lot more house machines.